What's up guys, Sean Nalawani, realscienceathletics.com. And in this video today, I never thought I'd be saying these words because for those who have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I never make these types of videos. Uh, but today I wanted to weigh in on the whole Jeff Cavalier, Athlean X fake weights controversy. Now this is very different from the content that I normally do, but I've been producing pure informative fitness content online for many, many years now. I have um, almost 500 videos on this channel, 500 articles on my website of straight training, nutrition, and supplementation information. And honestly, I'm just at the point now where I wouldn't mind mixing in some other types of content just to keep things fresh. And so I might depending on how it goes and what the response is, I might from time to time start addressing certain issues in the YouTube fitness community um, that I think are worth talking about. And this is one of them. So for those who don't know, it has recently come to light that Jeff Cavalier of Athlean X, um, I'm sure the vast majority of you know who he is. He has one of, if not the biggest fitness channel on YouTube, uh, that in some of his videos, he has been using fake 45 pound plates that exaggerate the amount of weight that he's lifting in those clips. Now, this video here is not about debating whether or not Jeff actually used fake plates. Um, the evidence on this whole thing is very clear um, at this point. Some other big channels have already made videos about this um, and everyone pretty much agrees so far. No one with any real lifting experience um, seems to even be questioning this. And even the people who are defending Athlean X are more so in the camp of, yeah, he used fake plates, but who cares, versus he didn't use fake plates. Um, he almost certainly, like 99% plus, used fake plates in uh, a deadlifting video where he actually verbally states that he's lifting 500 pounds even though he's not. Now as we get up here touching sort of almost at 500 pounds, um, he did it in a close grip bench press video to make it look like he was benching 315 on a pin press when he wasn't. Uh, the plates were used in a bicep curl video where he's doing very strict curls with them. Uh, there was a clean and jerk video, squats, overhead presses, barbell rows, tricep extensions, and there might be others out there as well that I'm missing, but those are the ones that I'm personally aware of. Um, I'm not gonna go over all the points here that basically prove these weights are not real. Um, that's already been covered in detail by another channel that goes by the name of Curling X, and I would basically just be repeating what he's already shown so full credit goes to him for breaking this all down in detail. Um, and I'm just gonna link the relevant videos of his in the description box if you wanna check those out. But the bottom line is that based on Jeff's lifting technique, uh, the bar paths, the movement of the weight at certain points in the range of motion, in combination with his age, his body weight, and his strength levels from past videos, Yes, these weights are fake. There's no real debate here. And if they're not fake, then Jeff could very easily prove this wrong, um, even with just a quick Instagram video and make himself look really good and make everyone else look really bad. So if he doesn't attempt to verify in any way that these lifts are real, then I would say that that's even more evidence in favor of the plates being fake. Now, the real question though, and what I wanna talk about here is, does it actually matter? So like, what are the implications of this? If you're an Athlean X follower, um, then should you care? Should Jeff Cavalier address this? What does this mean for his channel? First off, I wanna know what you guys think. Okay, this is an open discussion. I'm gonna give you my thoughts here in a second, uh, but please do comment below and let me know your opinion on this situation. As a strength and fitness coach, is misrepresenting the amount of weight that you're capable of lifting? Is that a serious offense and why or why not? So comment below and let me know. Now, what do I personally think? Okay, I'm not gonna dance around this topic like I've seen others do. I'm gonna give you my real, honest opinion on this. Um, I know a lot of people out there are big fans of Athlean X, and so I might get some backlash on this, but keep in mind, guys, that I am not saying that this discredits everything Jeff Cavalier has said in the past, or that he isn't knowledgeable, or that you should stop taking advice from him. Not saying any of that, okay? But talking about this instance in particular, just on this issue of fake weights specifically, regardless of whether this was Athlean X or anybody else. Okay, you can replace Jeff in this instance with anyone else who might have done this. Uh, but I personally think that the use of fake weights is a big deal. Um, I've seen some other YouTubers out there defending this and saying it's not a big deal, but based on how I view this, I do think it's pretty bad and I think that it should be called out. Okay, I'm not a hater. I'm not trying to tear Jeff down. He has like a hundred times the following that I have and nothing that I say is going to actually affect him. However, I do think that if you are a strength coach, which he is, okay, he teaches people how to get stronger among other things and he sells programs based around that and you have millions of followers, a large percentage of which are young impressionable beginners who don't know better and 
showing yourself lifting very heavy weights, if that increases your credibility in the eyes of those followers, just as his physique um, is also a big part of his credibility, um, which is why he does most of his videos shirtless and stays very lean year round. And if that credibility plays a role in you gaining more followers and ultimately selling products to them, and it's also used to some degree as a gauge in comparing you against other fitness YouTubers who are actually lifting real weights, then it is wrong in my opinion. You know, it's wrong to film yourself demonstrating very impressive feats of strength that you're not actually capable of. Um, I don't see how that's controversial or unreasonable to say that. Uh, because keep in mind that if he really could deadlift 500 pounds for reps at 40 years old and 170 pounds or so, then he'd essentially be a world-class lifter. Okay, call me crazy, but I think it's wrong to claim that you're able to do that when you aren't. Even if the central theme of the video um, is to demonstrate form and it's not specifically a lifting video, you know, you still know full and well that people are paying attention to what you're lifting and you can just read the comments on the videos and see all of the compliments that people are giving about how strong he is. Um, it's not as if he just put some light bumper plates on the bar to make it look better aesthetically. He actually went out of his way to purchase fake weights that have 45 pounds written on them and then verbally claim that they were real. Um, that is a much different thing. He says, here I am deadlifting 500 pounds, knowing as he's saying that, that it's not true. You know, I don't logically see how that's any different from say Photoshopping your physique pictures, for example. You are intentionally misrepresenting yourself to make yourself appear to your audience as something that in reality you're not. Um, using fake weights is the exact same logic, but it's just using strength as the metric rather than body composition. Because if he didn't think that this was going to benefit him or make him look better in the eyes of his viewers in some way, then why would he do it, right? There'd be no reason to do it. Just lift whatever you can lift and it doesn't matter. You'd only go to those lengths if you really thought that it was going to benefit you in some way. So. Yeah, in my opinion, and I guess you could say that this is a subjective thing. So at the end of the day, it's just my opinion and you are free to disagree, that's fine. Um, but I think that as a strength coach, using fake weights in YouTube videos is wrong. And if it really isn't a big deal, like a lot of people are saying, then what I would also ask is why is Jeff censoring all of the comments on his YouTube and Instagram right now? If you go there, you'll see that there isn't a single comment in relation to this topic, which obviously means that someone is manually filtering through them. A lot of people are defending Jeff and basically saying that uh, these plates were just for demonstration purposes and that he never claimed to be super strong, but it's implied because he actually did say out loud how much he was supposedly lifting, and it's an amount that would be extremely impressive for someone at his age and his body weight. Okay, if he was actually capable um, of lifting those types of weights, but he just decided to use fake plates for the demo uh, because there were repeated takes and he didn't want to tire himself out or whatever, then that would be one thing. But if you can't actually lift that amount of weight to begin with, then whether it's a demo or not, you shouldn't pretend that you can. And maybe everyone is wrong on this and Jeff really is a top tier strength athlete and really can deadlift three times his body weight for reps at 40 years old and press 315 and do uh, strict curls while leaning forward with 135 pounds. Maybe he can do all of that. Um, and if he can, then he should demonstrate it using real weights to prove everyone wrong. But I really don't think that that's going to happen. And one important question I would ask for people who are defending this is if this wasn't Athlean X, Okay, if this wasn't Jeff Cavalier, if this was someone else like, say, V Shred. What's going on, guys? Or Vince Del Monte or Mike Chang back when he was making fitness videos and they showed themselves deadlifting 500 pounds on camera, even if it was just a demonstration. And it later came to light that they were using fake plates in those videos. What would your honest reaction be? Okay, think about that and, and be honest because I can guarantee that those guys would be absolutely decimated by the YouTube fitness community if they did this. And I think that we should be holding people to the same standard and not giving people a free pass just because, well, it's Jeff Cavalier, so it somehow doesn't count. And then the one other thing that I find odd is how did Jeff not realize that this was gonna be found out? Like if someone really was a bench press expert, then they would know that a 315 pound pin press couldn't possibly look the way it looked in the video, right? He's barely arcing, there's no leg drive, the bar comes down kind of wobbly and bounces off the pin and then he pushes it back up very easily. If that was a real 315 pound press, then the weight would slow down at the bottom and there would be a much bigger struggle involved. So that is pretty strange to me. Um, the same thing goes for the deadlifting video. You know, anyone who's actually ever deadlifted up in the high 400s, um, I don't anymore, but I did back in my earlier lifting days, um, they know that the bar bends at that type of weight. Um, the slack has to be pulled out before the lift starts. So 
it's pretty weird to me that someone who is giving coaching on these particular lifts and is an expert on them, that they wouldn't know fairly basic things like that and would just go ahead and upload those videos and watch them back and not see any issue with it. So that's my view, guys. Again, I don't think that this somehow nullifies all of the advice that Jeff has given out over the years. Not at all. Okay. I'm not saying you should unfollow him or that he should be absolutely crucified over this. Um, he's human. He definitely made a mistake in my view. Um, I personally think it's a pretty noteworthy mistake. Your mileage on that might vary, but fake weights, fake natties. Okay. These are not things that the fitness community should be tolerating and no one gets a free pass on this regardless of who they are. You know, maybe Jeff was able to lift weights similar to that when he was younger. And so we thought, Hey, you know, I've lifted that amount of weight before, so it's not dishonest. Um, I still doubt that, but it's possible. Um, you know, or maybe in his mind, he truly just didn't see it as a big deal. I'm not saying he's a, a bad person. You know, maybe he just felt a lot of pressure to show that he was strong. And as a result, he used some poor judgment on this. Um, I don't know. Uh, most of these videos were also from several years back. So maybe he just had like a temporary lapse in judgment and then realized it was a bad idea and stopped doing it. Again, I don't know. The worst ones, which I think are the deadlift video and the pin press video, uh, those are from 2015. So like five years ago, uh, the most recent one that I saw was the tricep extension video. That's from 2018. So hard to say. Um, I don't think that Jeff is going to publicly acknowledge this whole thing. Maybe he will, but at the end of the day, he's got like 10 million subscribers. You know, other YouTubers are going to make their round of videos on this subject. He'll keep making his videos and probably act like this never happened. And I think that this whole thing will probably just fade away over time. That's my my prediction. But again, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. If you agree with me or you just think that I gave a fair perspective, uh, then feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel here, don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me over on Instagram as well at Sean Nalawani. The official websites are over at SeanNal.com and RealScienceAthletics.com. And I will see you in the next video.